Hello. Welcome to Chair Yoga. I'm recording a little early today. Um, so yeah, let's just take a minute to get centered here. So bring some length into your spine, grab a chair, lower your gaze, close your eyes, reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling as you relax the shoulders down, welcoming yourself to your practice, remembering to only move in ways that feel okay in your body. There's no pressure to achieve. There's no pressure to be perfect. Just because I say to do something does not mean you have to do it. Nothing should cause any sharp pain. If it does, just stop doing it. Wait till the next thing and see if that feels better in your body. Call to mind an intention for your practice. So that's a quality or characteristic that you would like to invite more of into your life. An example might be patience, love, peace, strength. Any quality that you would like to invite more of into your life. And then just take a minute to connect with your breath by simply observing the breath without any effort to change it. Just feel the air coming in through the nose, leaving the nose. Feel that on the end of your nostrils. And then let's take four rounds of four by four breathing. So I will tell you first what we're going to do, and then we'll practice it together. So we're going to inhale through the nose to a count of four. Hold the breath for a count of four. Exhale through the nose for a count of four. Slight pause, and then just keep repeating. So go ahead and let all your air out. Inhale through the nose, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale through the nose, two, three, four, pause, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, pause, two more rounds like that on your own. And then just resume normal breathing. Call to mind again your intention. And gently blink open the eyes. I'm going to turn this fan on. All right, let's start moving a little bit. So maybe you scooch towards the front of your chair. Check your posture. Make sure ankles are under the knees. Shoulders are over the hips. Shoulders relax down. And let's just shrug the shoulders up by the ears on an inhale and on an exhale release. Maybe exhale it out the mouth. One more. Good. And then we're just going to take a nod of the head, yes. So slow chin tilt up and down. Good. Let's take one more. Come on, 
come back to neutral and then we'll do the same thing but we're going to say no this time so chin to the right chin to the left slow gentle movement Loosen up that neck and shoulder area where we tend to hold a lot of our tension. And come on back to neutral and then drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Noticing the sensation in the left side of our neck. Now we're going to take that left arm kind of down and back. We're just going to bend that elbow and straighten it. Again, keeping the focus on that stretch in the left side of the neck. Good. Release the left hand to your lap. Gently bring your head back up to neutral. And then we'll drop the right ear to the left ear to the left shoulder. Breathing into the right side of our neck. And then take that right arm down and back. And bend and straighten that right arm. Good. Come on back to neutral. Hi, Craig. Hi, Jane. Yep, you can watch it this afternoon. All right, uh, what's next? So let's do some shoulder rolls. Or let's go backwards to start with. So shoulders come forward, up by the ear, shoulder blades draw together and back and down. Nice, slow, fluid movement. Still kind of early on a Monday morning, so maybe we don't have a lot of stress built up yet. Maybe this will prevent that from happening today. I don't know. All right, and then let's take those shoulder rolls forward. Connecting with your breath, with your intention. And come to stillness. All right, so this one may feel kind of silly, but that's okay, silly is good. So you remember the old dance, the shimmy? We're gonna do that with our shoulders and we're just gonna kind of bring the torso forward while we shimmy, lean back as we shimmy. Come on forward again and back. And let's go side to side a little bit. So try to keep both hips rooted to your chair, the sit bones rooted to the chair. Maybe you get the arms into it here, maybe not. I know, I look silly too, and I'm the only one everybody can see. And then just stay still and kind of shimmy the shoulders back and forth. And settle back into stillness. And let's bring the arms to cactus arms. Take a breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to bring the forearms any amount towards together. It's okay if the elbows are apart. And then we're going to lower the chin to the chest, keeping the spine long and straight. Inhale. Cactus, exhale, forearms and chin drops. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale, exhale. I don't know if that was two or not. Let's take some cat cow, seated cat cow. So inhale, arch the back, draw the shoulder blades together, chin lifts. Exhale, scoop out the belly, round the back, widen the shoulder blades, chin drops. Flow like that with your breath. Inhale for cow, exhale for cat. Good. 
Good, let's take one more each way. Inhale and exhale. Come back to neutral, finish loosening up the spine. Inhale, both arms up by the ears. Exhale, right hand comes to the seat of the chair. We take a side bend over to the right, keeping that left hip rooted to the chair. Draw that left shoulder back so we're not rounding into it. Bringing our attention to the stretching sensation all along the left side of the body, keeping the left hip firmly to the chair and breathe. Gaze can be up under that left arm, straight ahead or down at the floor, whatever feels best in your neck. And inhale back through center. Exhale, left hand comes to the seat of the chair side, bend over to the left, keeping the right hip rooted. Right shoulder back, gaze wherever feels good, and breathe. Good, inhale back through center. Exhale, release the hands. So we're gonna kind of focus on the fingers a couple times today. So we're gonna start with bringing the right arm straight out in front, bring that thumb up. And we're gonna take a breath in and as we do, we're gonna extend each finger individually as we open that arm out to the side. So we breathe in, pointer, middle, ring, pinky, and we're kind of reaching back, and then we're going to reverse it. So pinky draws in, ring finger draws in, middle finger draws in, pointer. Let's take that a few times. Really reach those fingers nice and wide. Inhale as you extend back. Exhale as you come back forward. Two more times. Good, relax the right arm. And just kind of notice the difference between that right shoulder and those right fingers and the left, since we haven't done the left yet. All right, let's even it out. So left arm reaches forward, thumb up, gentle fist, inhale, one finger at a time, exhale, draw those fingers back in, really reach the fingers wide. Two more. Last one, reach it and draw it back in. Relax and just shake the fingers out like your hands are wet and you're trying to dry them. All right, let's build some heat here doing, uh, let's do four rounds of sun salutation. So we're seated on the edge of the chair, ankle under the knees, inhale both arms up by the ears. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, hinge to a diagonal. Exhale, whatever kind of forward fold works for you. Inhale, halfway lift. So you're reaching the crown of the head straight in front of you. Shoulder blades draw towards the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, we're going to bring that right arm out and up to the ceiling. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, left arm out and up to the ceiling. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, arms wide, strong, flat back, all the way up to uh, hands pressed together over the head. Exhale to prayer. That's our sun salutation. Three more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to cactus. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. Exhale to prayer. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, the cactus. Inhale, halfway tilt. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, right arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, left arm out and up. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms wide, flat back all the way up. Exhale to prayer. I'm going to be quiet this last time. Flow at your pace. Good. Take a minute here. Lower the gaze or close the eyes. Notice if you've built up some heat, maybe the heart's beating a little bit faster. Call to mind your intention that you set at the beginning of practice. What would your life look like if you had more of that quality in it? How would it be different? Good. Relax the hands. Let's bring the knees to a wide angle, and we're just going to make some circles with our body. So we're going to keep our spine long and straight. We're just going to lean over to the left, forward, right leg, and back up. That's our flow. So maybe that right shoulder drops down through the center, left shoulder drops, and up. Last one in this direction. And then we got to go the other direction. So now we'll go to the right, down, left, and up. Maybe you do big circles. Maybe you do small circles. It doesn't matter as long as you're moving a little bit. Let's take one more. Come on back to center and just heel toe your legs back together so the knees are straight out in front. We're going to lengthen the spine, relax the shoulders down. And you may want to hold on to the chair here or not, it doesn't matter. But we're just going to lift one knee at a time. But keep that belly drawn in. Spine straight, knee comes straight up. You can go as fast or as slow as works for you. You can lift the knee or as high or as low as you like. I mean it when I say there's no pressure here. You move in ways that feel right to you your body. It's your practice. Keep that belly in. Spine long and straight. Focus on your slow, deep breaths. Good. One more to each side and relax. Again, I want you to shake the hands and lean forward. Shake the hands, lean to the right. Shake the hands, lean to the left. Shake the hands, reach it up. And again, shake the hands, lean forward. Lean right. Lean left. Reach it up. One more. Shake the hands forward. To the right, to the left, and reach it up and relax. I'm going to take my glasses off because we're going to rub the palms together until you feel some good heat 
built up. So rub the hands vigorously, getting some heat built up there. And when you feel like, oh, I got a little heat, I'd like you to just cup the palms over the eyes, relax the shoulders. Maybe the thumbs massage the temple a little bit. Good. Relax the hands. I got to put my glasses back on. And we're going to keep kind of working on those arms a little bit. So we're going to imagine we're climbing a rope. Right, so really reaching each time we extend up because we want to get all the way to the top of the rope like I could never do in gym class. <laughs> but really reach and pull it down, bring yourself up. Good, you got it, keep going. And relax. And then we're gonna do the opposite, kind of like we're picking carrots, right? We're gonna reach down, pick up, pull the carrot out of the ground. We're gonna reach down, just kind of the opposite of what we were just doing. that low belly drawn in to protect the spine. One more time to each side. And bring it up. And we got to go side to side. So extend both arms out. We're going to reach over to the right, grab it in, reach to the left, grab it in. Keep those sit bones rooted to your chair, low belly in, getting into this core a little bit here, and really reaching those arms. Good, one more to each side. And relax the shoulders. Maybe take three shoulder rolls backwards and then three forwards. I don't know why I always say four words. It's just forward. I don't need to put an, an S on the end of it. <laughs> All right. So same thing we did just a minute ago. We're going to lift that right knee on an inhale. On an exhale, we're going to extend that leg, reach the heel to the front of the room, Inhale, bend it back. Exhale, release. Left leg, inhale, lift that left knee. Exhale, extend and reach. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, release. Keep the spine long and straight here. We're going to flow a couple times. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. One more on each side. Connect with that breath. Good. Relax it down. So we're going to do some twisting here. So Right hand to the right shoulder, left hand to the left shoulder, and we're just going to twist to the right. Inhale through center, exhale, twist left. Inhale through center, exhale, twist right. Inhale through center, exhale, twist left. And we're going to build on this, so you can always stay where you are if that feels better for you. If you want to come with me, we're going to have bent elbows 
Um, hands grab opposite elbows, and we're going to twist again. So take a breath in. Exhale, twist right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left. Keep the belly in. Exhale, twist right. Exhale, twist left. All right, let's keep it going here. This time, let's bring the fingertips together straight out in front. Relax the shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, twist right. Inhale to center, exhale, twist left. Inhale to center, exhale right. Inhale, exhale. Inhale to center. Okay, so from here, we're going to take the arms wide. And we're going to twist this way. So take a breath in. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale to center. And relax. You guys doing all right? I hope so. All right, let's do... Um, Let's do some warriors in our chair. So we're going to bring both knees around to the right of the chair. And that left butt cheek is going to hang off the chair. That The back of your right thigh is supported by the chair. So the option here is to bring that left knee straight towards me. Or, and if that feels perfect for you, stay there. Otherwise, you can see what it feels like to extend that left leg all the way back. Or you can keep that left knee bent in this position. Those are your options. You do what works for you. We're gonna inhale the arms up, up, up by the shoulders, reaching in both directions for warrior two in our chair. We're gonna work the arms a little bit more. So bring a gentle fist into that right hand. The left thumb sticks up like it did before. And we're gonna pretend like we're archers. So let's take a breath in, in. And on an exhale, we're gonna bring that left arm forward. Inhale, extend it back. Exhale, inhale. So the torso is moving a little bit here. Exhale as you reach forward. Inhale as you draw the bow back. Three more. Good. Let's hold it here. And extend back out to warrior two. And relax the arms. If that left leg is straight, go ahead and bend it. We're going to swivel all the way around to take that on the other side. So this time, the back of the left thigh is fully supported by the chair. The right butt cheek hangs off a little bit. Right knee can stay bent and extended forward. Or you extend that right leg straight back. Or you bring a little bend into that knee. You do what works. And we'll inhale it up. Gaze out over those left fingertips. Long, straight spine. Relax the shoulders down. Call to mind your intention. And we'll shoot our bow, our peaceful bow, our cupid bow, our bow of love. All right, gentle fist with the left hand, thumb up. Take a breath in. And on an exhale, bring that right arm forward. Inhale, pull that string back. And that's our flow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Couple more. Wow, 
last one and we'll hold it. Extend it back, breathe. Extend both arms for warrior two. And relax the arms, bend that right knee. Hey, Sally. Oh, no, share it. All right, share it. It's, uh, all right, so let's come back and we are going to be seated on the edge of our chair, knees bent. We're gonna lift that right knee again like we've done before. Option to always hold on to the chair. Open that right knee out to the side. Inhale it back forward. Exhale, release. Left knee, inhale it lifts. Exhale it opens. Inhale to center. Exhale, release. That's our flow. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, if you want to add more of a challenge, you can bring the arms to cactus arms. No pressure though, I'm just trying to offer options. Keep the hands for support if that feels better for you. One more to each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Release the hands. And let's see. All right, so we're gonna bring the arms wide. Take a breath in and on an exhale, we're gonna hinge at the waist to lean forward. The hands are gonna come down. Imagine you're, you're scooping up all the things you love in life, hold them close to your heart, and then exhale, extend it out. Inhale, exhale, scoop up what you love. Inhale, bring it to your heart. Exhale, give it away. Inhale, exhale, scoop it up. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale as you hinge, inhale as you rise. Exhale as you offer it to others. Inhale. Two more. All right. Let's bring the legs straight out in front. I know you can't see my feet here, I don't think, but... My heels are resting on the earth. My feet are strongly flexed, right? And we're gonna come into a forward fold here. So keep the spine long and straight. And maybe you just walk the hands down any amount. Maybe they're to the shins, maybe they're to the ankles, maybe they're grabbing the feet, maybe your hands are on the floor. You do what works in your body. Come to your edge, keep those toes drawn back towards the face. And when you come to your edge where you're like, yep, that's as far as I'm going, then you can let the chin drop while keeping that length in your spine. And we're gonna hold this for several breaths. Keep drawing the pinky edge toe back towards your face. You can have a bend in the knees here if that feels better for you. It can take a while for those hamstrings to release, so that's why we hold this forward fold stretch a little bit more. Good. When you're ready, gently walk yourself back up and rebend the knees. 
So again, this one might feel kind of silly, but we're we're working on stretching out those fingers. We spend so much time on keyboards, mice, or mount your mouse on your computer, your phone. So we're gonna love our fingers a little bit. So we're gonna have the right hand on your right thigh, and we're gonna take that right pointer and just bend it and come back. Middle finger, bend it and come back. Ring finger, bend it, roll it forward, bring it back. Pinky finger, roll it, bring it back. Relax, relax the right hand and we'll take the left. So the pointer, we roll it forward, and bring it back. Middle finger, roll it forward, bring it back. Ring finger. And the pinky. Let's do each hand one more time. Who knew you could exercise your fingers, huh? But we are. Left hand. And again, shake the fingers out, shake the hands out like you're trying to dry your hands. And then let's interlace the fingers straight out in front of us. This one's kind of a, a brain, uh, brain activity as well. So notice how your fingers are interlaced, which thumb is on top. We're gonna close our eyes and on an inhale, we're gonna extend the both arms out to the side like a T. And then with the eyes closed, we're gonna try to bring the hands back forward and interlace the same way. Again, inhale, extend out sideways. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, extend. Exhale, interlace. Inhale, extend. This time I want you to interlace the opposite way. So it's probably the way that feels funny to you. Inhale, extend. Exhale, opposite interlace. This one is nice for proprioception, our, our relationship with where our body is in space. And keeping our eyes closed, help, closed helps us to do that. Good, last time, inhale, extend, exhale, interlace. Uh, twist the hands forward so the palms come pressed straight out in front of you. Inhale, lift that all the way up to the sky, maybe the gaze follows. And exhale, release it all down. Let's cross the right knee over the left knee. If you wanna take it further, you can double cross so that right ankle is behind the left ankle, but no pressure to do that. Lengthen the spine, and we're gonna take a twist to the right. So that left hand can come to the outside of that right knee. The right hand can reach back for your chair. Lengthen the spine, draw the low belly in. Gaze can be back over that right shoulder to the side or forward, whatever feels best in your neck. And take some really slow, full breaths here. Notice how the breath impacts the sensation in your twist. Use that breath to enhance the twist. and gently release back to center. And then we're gonna come into a hip opener. So maybe that right ankle comes to rest on that left knee. If that doesn't work for you, just cross the right ankle over the left ankle, whichever feels best for you. Lengthen the spine. And maybe that right hand gives a little gentle pressure down on that right knee. Keep the right foot strongly flexed. 
And notice the sensation in your right hip. If you're not feeling much of anything, if you're fairly open in the hips, you can draw that right heel up closer to the left hip crease. That will intensify the stretch a little bit, but wherever you are, keep that right foot strongly flexed. Gentle pressure down, shoulders over the hips. And breathe, maybe take a minute to focus on your intention. Option to stay where you are, or you can bring the forearms to that right leg. Or you can drape the torso over that right leg. Again, offering options without expectation. You do what you do. Good. If the torso is draped, gently walk it up. And then straighten all the way back up. And we'll switch sides. So we'll cross the left knee over the right knee for our twist. Right hand comes to the outside of that left knee. Left hand reaches back. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Draw the belly in. Exhale, twist to the left. Big, deep breaths through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose. back to center. Let's do our hip opener. Check that right ankle is under the right knee. Remember left ankle over the right knee or left ankle over the right ankle, whichever works for you. Left foot is flexed. Gentle pressure down with that left knee. Always the option to draw that left Heel into the right hip crease. Option to stay upright or find whatever forward fold works for you. Just keep the flex in that left foot to protect the left knee. Nice and easy, bring it back up. And relax out. So again, we're gonna extend the legs straight out in front. The heel is on the earth, the toes are flexed back, so they're like this. And maybe you hold on to the back of the chair, the seat of the chair, whatever feels best for you. And we're just gonna lift that right leg, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the left leg, exhale, lower. Keep the spine straight up so we're not leaning back to lift that leg. The spine stays long. You lift that leg a little or a lot, but keep the low belly drawn in. Inhale as you lift, exhale as you lower. Keep those feet flat. All right, this time we're gonna lift that right leg and hold it and maybe you extend the arms straight out. Maybe not, doesn't matter. Breathe, focus on those slow, deep breaths. 
and gently relax it down. Inhale that left leg up, hold it. Maybe the arms extend out, keep the belly in. Breathe, focus on your intention. And relax it all. All right. So we're gonna, since we're getting ready to close the class, we're gonna take a bow like we do at the end of a performance, right? So let's bring the hands to prayer. Take a breath in and on an exhale, we're gonna bow forward. Inhale back to prayer. Exhale, we're gonna bow to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, bow to the right. Inhale to center and that's our flow. Bow center, bow left. Inhale, exhale, bow right. Good, bow forward, keep the belly in. One more time, bow center, bow to the left, bow to the right. Come back to center, hands in prayer. So the hands are kind of just below the chin and we're gonna press that left palm is gonna press the right palm. We're gonna keep the gaze forward, coming into a little bit of a twist. Inhale, back to center. This time the right palm pushes the left. Inhale to center. A couple more times to each side. Keep the hips pointing forward. Come on back to center. Make any final movements, adjustments. We're gonna settle into Shavasana, our final relaxation pose or meditation. So options are to stay seated in the chair, feeling fully supported. You can always lie on your back on the ground, or if you're at your desk, you can put your head down on your desk Figure out what feels best for you today. Wiggle, get yourself settled into stillness. Again, inviting that connection with the mind and the breath. Allowing the effects of the class to integrate into the body. And I have a short reading, um, I believe it's by Brene Brown. And she says, don't grab hurtful comments and pull them close to you by rereading them and ruminating on them. Don't play with them by rehearsing your badass comeback. And whatever you do, don't pull hatefulness close to your heart. Let what's unproductive and hurtful drop at the feet of your unarmored self. And no matter how much your self-doubt wants to scoop up the criticism and snuggle with the negativity so it can confirm its worst fears or how eager the shame gremlins are to use the hurt to fortify your armor, take a deep breath and find the strength to leave what's mean-spirited on the ground. You don't even need to stomp it or kick it away. Cruelty is cheap, easy, and chicken shit. It doesn't deserve your energy or engagement. Just step over the comments and keep daring, always remembering that armor is too heavy a price to pay to engage with cheap seat feedback. 
We'll have a couple minutes of silence to ponder that and continue connecting with the breath. Each time the mind comes in and asks for your attention without judgment, without criticism, redirect the thoughts back to the breath. Gently begin to deepen your breath, bring some small movements to your fingers and to your toes, just gently bringing yourself back to this space. And then as you're ready, reach the arms up by the ears and the legs extend out. Give yourself a big reach in both directions and then let it all relax down. If you're on the floor, go ahead and roll off to either side and push yourself up to an easy seated position. And once there, we'll press the palms together in front of our heart center as our symbol of closing this sacred time that you made for yourself today, for your mind, your body, your spirit. Call to mind again your intention, inviting that quality to manifest itself in your life this week. We express deep gratitude to these bodies of ours for moving as perfectly as they did. My soul honors your soul. I commend the place in you where the spirit resides. I admire the place in you that is of love, light, truth, and peace because it's also within me and in sharing these things we are united we are one namaste thank you hope y'all have a great week and i will see you next week for some more chair yoga bye